sci-fi books that I've read. Not many, but I did read the Sith, the Return of the Sith book before I saw the movie. It actually cost them a lot more than buying the DVD. But that's alright. It was, it was just a screenplay that had been given to, uh, handed to Carrie uh, Brooks to convert to. There was only a few minor differences. I mean, more, you know, a few more details in there that I didn't see in the movie. But. Star Trek, um, Cold Fusion, DS9, they go to retrieve a reactor out of another abandoned space station to plug into their DS9 unit fusion reactor and to rain in hell the Khan's colony which takes place right before well it, it, it's Khan's wife's journal is what it is that right before they touch down in the movie Khan is their ending of this book Stargate, I read Sacrifice Moon, just like a TV show, you know, back now, I don't know if they made a TV show out of that one, not really much different. Um, but did I master, oh, Asimov, I started that, uh, a couple of Dune books, um, good writing, but it just, you know, they go on and on. <laughs> and never ending sagas. And hmm. my mother would only allow me to watch Saturday morning cartoons as a kid. Then when we moved to Haines, from our my for our seventh grade year, we lived out at camp in the camper. We borrowed from my Aunt Barbara, grandfather's sister, who lived on um, about thirty five mile camp there while Glenn Scott was building his log mansion. And then we were off the grid to we moved to Juno. <coughs> and some of the movies that, uh, oh, during college I didn't watch for a movie. Uh, but when I got out and I shut my computer down and got burned out, then I started watching some TV the first time. I mean, I never had, you know. And, uh, some of the movies, and Drama on a Strain, Atomic Train, uh, Broken Arrow, The Peacekeeper, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, those are just a few to get started with.